joy. Yes, Daddy. You told me you love that man so much and that he's a wonderful man. <laughs> yes, Daddy. I love him. And a lot. <laughs> well, um, you are still a child spiritually and it's only normal for you to see and talk like one. I hope there is no problem. You know, after the first day you told me about the man as your spiritual leader and your pastor, I took it upon myself to fast and pray concerning this young man who you want to marry. I got some revelations. And these revelations are not good. Daddy, please, what did you see? I pray that God Almighty will give you the hearts to contain that. The man is occultic. Yes, all his money comes from the devil's government. Not just that. He's also a gambler. Gambler? Well, not in the sense, you know. He gambles with women. Just as he likes you, he likes two or three other women. The fact is that he's not even decided on you. But, but, Daddy, he, he, he swore that I'm the only woman in his life. As a matter of fact, I. When he said it, I saw sincerity in his eyes. I, I looked him in the eyes and I, I believe him. That was why I said you are still a child spiritually. Some of the things we see are beyond our physical comprehension. Yeah, they may seem right, but they're not right. I am a man of God. I see and hear from God. And I deliver the message as I receive from Revelation. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible makes us understand that the things we see will be gone. The things we don't see will remain forever. For the things which we see are temporal, but the things we do not see are eternal. This man is not good for you. Wow. You know our pastor sees in the spirit. Eh? I knew there was something about that, Ben. It was too good to be true. Hmm. Ben is a nice guy. Do you know that... In spite of all he's done for me, he's never asked me for sex. Are you serious? Yes. Huh. That is real. Very rare. But that's not what we're talking about now. I believe that there's something about him that we do not know. <clears throat> Daddy, Daddy said he's a cultist. Eh? Cultist? Hey, I knew it all. You could see everything about him was just going some, 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 some. Too good to be true. Hey! Hmm. Hmm. I wish he wasn't. I've fallen in love with him. What? Love? 
Is that what you want to be talking about now? Love. Please, can you just forget about love? Are you not grateful to God that this revelation came right now? Oh, you would have preferred him using you for money rituals, okay? Yeah. Forget love, oh. Forget love. Right? Yes, right. This is not the time to talk about love. Have you forgotten my colleague that I to told you about? My learned colleague. The one that ran mad in broad daylight. Because of the man who she was going to get married to was a staunch cultist. Did I not tell you? I remember, I remember the story. Okay. Hmm. That's what took me closer to God. Though. And I am not letting go. Talking about love. <sighs> so what do I do with Ben? Is that a question? What do you do with Ben? Okay, you want to die? Please, call Ben. Tell him it is over. Your life first. Please. <sighs> love will. Another love will come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present your daughter before you tonight, Lord. Yeah. I say, Lord, you know her marriage plans. Yeah. You know what she wants. Yeah. And I know that in your revelations to me, you have exposed the man in America. Yeah. My God and my Lord, he shall come down here. Yeah. He shall propose to her. Amen. He will not have peace until he has done Amen. so. I heard you expressly because in your word in Psalm 62, 11, you said once have you spoken and twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. Amen. Therefore, tonight we claim that power of God and come forth that man from America. Amen. He will come forth and he will propose Amen. to you. He will wed you in this church. He will wed you in this church. In the name of Jesus, Amen. nothing will stop it. Oh yes, Lord. I present your daughter before you. I said nothing will stop it. For your word says in Jeremiah 19, 11, that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For said the Lord, that they are, oh Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. You will give her an expected end. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, yes, I see that American boy coming. Very soon he will come and he will not have peace until he has proposed to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. nothing will stop it. Because Shout America. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It is done. America. Amen. It is done. He will come. He will come to this church and he will wed you. And the people will say there will be witnesses. Those who have laughed against you will laugh for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. sister. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Shout Amen. 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 Oh. <laughs> Thank you, America. <laughs> I do, Oga. Correct. Uh, how tonight go be now? I only go dinner. Have you? I go enter. dinner. You enter. We know the scene. We enter. Uh -huh.
Just say young, this thing they work. This thing! You see this thing? Hey! I go here, you never even touch me. You never even test this thing. You tell me say that I go. I know they go really real. Out! Oga, I bet my money. Out! My money! Hey, before you pollute my entire house. Out! 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 Go! Yeah, yeah, man. Out! Oh, go marry. They didn't carry a shower. Out! 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 I just they pity you, useless man. Sleep. Love. I should have some air fresh in this room. This is like the space reeks. Oh, really? Though. When am I going to stop picking up those girls off the street? Now how the hell do I sleep? Auntie Amaka, emergency, emergency. Uh, somebody is here. Uh, in fact, I have been trying to call your number, but it was not reachable. What is this, Columbus? I went for a church program. What's the problem? Somebody is here to see you. Eh? And he waited and waited and waited. In fact, he entered into his jeep and drove out. Yeah! Just like that, he is a big boy, and nobody can keep him waiting just like that. What are you talking about? Who is this person you speak of? Uh, uh, you know I told you of my cousin who lives in Vietnam. He has traveled all over the country. Name it. China, India, America, Japan, Australia, Asia. In fact, finally, Vietnam. He, he married one Yeye Oyibo girl who almost killed him. So he divorced her. Now he is back into the country to look for a wife uh, uh, in the, uh, here in his father's land. So I told him about you. Eh? <laughs> that is why he came here today. He is a big boy with dollars. Pound Stalin, uh, Euro, Cedis, Naira, finally Kobo. He has all of them. Uh, uh, but, Antiamaka, what do we do now? Because I don't want us to miss this opportunity. Columbus, is there any time I ask you to arrange for a husband for me? Uh, uh, no time, Antiamaka. Uh, you know, I am concerned. Uh, you know, you are such a nice person. And, and I am not desperate to get married. And even if I were, it will not come from you. Uh, but Aunt Amaka... Look, uh, listen. Mr. Columbus, let me tell you something. Let this be the last time you will embarrass me with this marriage nonsense. I am not desperate to get married and it is not in your place to address it. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Yes, your lordship. Oh, eh? Are you calling me? Hey! Allah, you. you must marry you. You must marry this man. Ah! You, don't, you want me to lose this opportunity? Which kind of thing with this? 
go find for you for here. You go say no. You go find for you for here. Say no. Ah, you must marry that man. Oh, I don't want to lose this opportunity, Biko. You must marry him. Hey, Buka. He was himself. How are you? Greetings to you, boss. Greetings. Thank you. What brings you to mind this Saturday morning? Actually, I came to invite you formally for my wedding. <laughs> Surprise, right? You're getting married? Sure, yeah. Hey, Buka. Yeah? You know, you make 27 sound like it's for the summer. Huh? You're still very young. And besides, you and I were talking the other day. You never mentioned that you were getting married. All of a sudden, you're here telling me that you're getting married. What's going on? We were actually um, planning for next year. But my wife to be, my fiance, got pregnant. So I decided to just ah. do everything at once. <laughs> I see you knocked the young girl off her. Yeah. And now you're trying to make an honorable woman of her. It's good. It is good, but you know, your age worries me. But it's fine. If it's what you want, then I pray that. Um, you know, life favors you in that direction. Uh, my elder brother, my cousin, the one you know, yes. he's just two years older than I am, and he has two kids already. So what am I waiting for? I'm doing well in my business. I have a home of my own. So I just need to start off from there. You sound quite enthusiastic. It's good. Thank it's good. You. So what's this? And uh, here is the card, please. Uh, you came prepared. Yeah. Uh, and the drink. Ah, you came prepared. <laughs> this is good. Thank you very much. I'll be there. Okay, I will be present. I can see from your date that um, what, uh, we still have three weeks to prepare. <laughs> right. And I want you to be my chairman. No. <laughs> no, don't do that, come on. What, a chronic bachelor like me, your chairman? Bachelor is not written on four years. As our big boss in town now, please, just do it for your a brother in need. Are you serious? Okay. If you insist, I'll come there with, um, with my harem of chronic bachelors. <laughs> I appreciate you a lot, sir. Congratulations. I appreciate you a lot, sir. Let me run along. I have people to catch up with, to give invitations. It must be a very, very busy Saturday morning for you, I understand that. Thank you very much. Right. See you. Ma'am, I don't understand you. You've been standing there looking at me funny. And I've been asking you, what is the problem? What is the problem? You won't speak up. What is it? I'm pregnant. Mira, you're pregnant. How come? You told me that you're on pills. Why are you pregnant? I don't know how it happens, but I'm two months ready to eat. What, what, what? Two months? So you went through the first month, you did not see your period, you didn't see anything. Went through the second month, still did not see anything. Well, it's not a problem. I'll call my doctor friend up. Um, he will see you tomorrow and get rid of that thing that you're carrying. I don't want to abort the baby. Why? You said you're going to get married soon. Oh, I, I get it. I see what, what's happening here. Or oh, because I told you at some point that I might get married to you, you decided to take the initiative on our behalf to get pregnant. Wow. Oh, well, let's just get into it. Let's get into what? Let's get married. I, I, is that what you're saying? Yes. Mary, are you are you are you joking? Do I look to you like I'm ready to get married? Listen, I'm not interested. In marriage. But let's assume I'm interested in getting married. Why would I want to marry a girl who got pregnant out of wedlock? How would it be said that I, Charles, got married to some random girl that I sleep with when I'm tensed up? Why? Because she got pregnant for me. Really? <laughs> Get rid of that thing. Huh? Get rid of it. I'm interested. Get rid of it. 
You know that's why you showed up here. You are making faces. You are pregnant. So what? Saturday morning going. Charlie, you don't get it. You don't. See, there is a big difference between a slay queen and a girlfriend. Mm -mm. I don't agree. There's no difference. Both, really? both of them are drain pipes. Maybe. But with a girlfriend, you know where you stand. A slay queen is transactional no commitment but a girlfriend loves you she cares for you she calls you a snake queen, a snake queen calls you too uh, well perhaps but, well, but, but for a different reason well my problem is that the girlfriends are beginning to borrow a leaf oh really from the snake queen what is the guarantee that you are the only one boyfriending that girl <laughs> Ask anyone, any boyfriend, the only boyfriend, boyfriending the girlfriend. Exactly. Are you the oh, only boyfriend, Charlie. boyfriending the girlfriend that is girlfriending you? Have you? We don't know. Okay. So for me, yeah, it, the, 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 it, it, there's no difference. Yeah, yeah, but my point, but my point is, look at the point here, okay? When a slave queen calls you. She needs money. No, no, she just wants to ward off her competitors. Okay. When she checks on you, yeah. she wants to check on her ATM. Oh, well, uh, when she cares... Okay, uh, she wants, just wants to care about the, you know, about, about the money. Not the money, it's about money. Uh, because she has to fly business class to Dubai. Oh, really? She needs money for photo shoot for Instagram. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So? A snake clearly sees you as an ATM machine, and then a girlfriend sees you <laughs> as a pawn that will be playing ping pong, ping pong, ping Look, there's no difference. I beg, I get caught. You're mixing it up. I'm not mixing, I'm not mixing it up. It's the same thing. I, hold on. Hello, Richie. How far? You're getting married! <laughs> congrats! Oh boy, congratulations. Eh? You beat us to it oh, this time. <laughs> ah, okay, I can hear you. Of course I'll be there. Of course I'll be there, definitely. Uh, what are friends for? You want me to be your best man? I'm about to reach out to possible. <laughs> it is not possible. Uh, uh, don't spoil your wedding with your own hands. What do you mean why? Of course, everyone knows that I'm a perpetual bachelor at this time. <laughs> so, it will look good. You now, look for someone else to do this thing for you. I have been a best man to about 25 to 27 grooms in this town. Uh, how would it look that people walk into your wedding and they see me standing? You know, I look good in a suit, but come on, that's not enough. People see me standing and they say, look at that guy. Every time he stands beside someone who wants to get married, it's not nice. Uh, Richie, why are you stretching this thing now? Oh, yeah, look for another fine boy. I'm not the only fine boy in town. Look for another bobo. Now, look good in the suit and stuff. <laughs> hey, God, see black man. Richie, listen, I know we go a long way. I'm just. Ha. <laughs> okay, you win. <laughs> I'll do it for you. But this last. <laughs> <laughs> now you're calling me a professional bachelor, you know where? 
Ah, Richard, I'm happy for you. Congrats. Hope your wife is fine, though. Ah, the chick under there. What do you mean? What, what do I mean? Say, but I want to cook and I'll keep somewhere. <laughs> we cannot even be sick. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm happy for you. See you soon, eh? Yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll make plans. It's two months from now. All right. Right. <laughs> ah. Your friend. Your friend. Yeah, from university days. Come on, what's happening? You've not been responding to my messages nor calls. Did I do anything wrong? Ben, I have prayed and sought the face of God over this. Then I got a revelation on your proposal. I'm sorry, it can't work. Okay. Joy, calm down. All right, have I, why have I done anything wrong? Um, you haven't done anything wrong, and I can't begin to say this is it or not exactly. But then, it just can't work. Please, the marriage can't. It can't work. Okay, listen, Joy. I think we need to see. At least let's see and resolve this issue face to face, one on one. At least let's have a talk. Can we just let this matter be? It's not going to work. But then again, we're still friends. So uh, let's leave it at that, please. We can still be friends. We're no enemies. Okay, I, I'm sorry if I got you upset. Sorry. Hello, hello, Ben. Is this how you're going to get married to me? You can't even respect my opinion. Just get off my phone. Uh-uh. Kanyama fusi konufa My eyes have seen Timanu si konufa My ears have heard Do not pressure, don't pressure me Wedding, wedding, wedding Yes, yeah, so After wedding, what next? Well, after wedding, they live uh, happily ever after <laughs> Yes Happily ever after or roughly ever after well, not in all cases. Now, have some faith. I don't jinx my friend's wedding. Eh? Eh? Uh, listen, 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 Charlie. I don't have any problem with marriage. No, you do. But I have with wedding. Oh, no, you do. I have with wedding. No, you, you have a problem with marriage. That is why you are not married. <laughs> that is why you are so... Look at your car. No, <laughs> you, you are so comfortable. You are not married. It's car for one. It's, it's car for one. Car for one. Just one seat, you know. Can you imagine? The one seat is for, for my load. This is for my stuff. So my, my, my drinks. And my you are going to die as a very lonely old man. Nobody running yes, around man. you. I'm approaching 56, man. But look, look at how I look. It, it's horrible. <laughs> Imagine if I had a troublesome wife and troublesome kids and troublesome neighbors and troublesome uh, in-laws and all the in uh, Well, you would have died. Thank you. You, you would have died. But that is not to say... That is not to say... That is not to say... Give me a chest. No, but really. No, let me... Can I ask you a sincere <laughs> question? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Ask me, man. What did women do to you? Women? Yes, yeah, so what did they do to you? My mother is a woman. You forgot to that. <laughs> oh God. They did nothing to me, but I don't want to do nothing to any woman. I want to be on my own. <laughs> Let it be. No marriage for me. No, 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 no. I don't want avoidable liability. Whatever you do, just don't contaminate me. I still believe in marriage. Uh, I'm not. We're just, we're just, we're just colleagues, okay? Accountant, accountant, okay? That's it. That's it. And I'm your senior, man. Yeah, I, I, I have to make money. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house at this ungodly hour? Who? I'm sure that stupid gate man didn't check his time before he opened the gate for you. You had to go find me at the backyard. What are you doing here? No, 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 Ben, this is embarrassing. It is very embarrassing. What is it? Why are you stalking me? I am sorry. Look, I'm very sorry. I don't understand what is going on. Like I thought perhaps I might have done something that got you upset, so I came to resolve it. There is nothing to resolve. You and I, you and I, it is over.
over. We are done. Like done. Why? I don't know, but we can't get married. See, listen to me, Bene. There are levels to this. And in all honesty, I am not your level. Please, find someone else who is on the same level with you. I am tired. I am done. What is it? Let this be the last time you will call my phone or come anywhere close to me. It is over! So I am... Uh, 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 listen. If you think it is because of your chewing gum money, those small, small things you gave to me that gave you the F1 tree to come looking for me at this ungodly hour, sweetheart, text me your details and I will send you a refund. Joy! What is that? Honestly, you don't, you don't know my excitement, you know? I'm so I'm so I'm so sorry I pulled you out. It's, it's okay. really really noisy over there, mm -hmm. you know. But hey, I, I just had to seize this opportunity to to get really acquainted with you, okay. you know, because I had seen you one time. Yes, I I, I saw you at, at a shopping mall, you know, the very big mall in town. And what had happened was I was driving in and I saw you in in your lawyer outfit. You weren't looking so happy, but you were rushing to the car. And before I, you know, I found a parking space to park, rushed out of my car, tap on your car, get your attention. Ah, you had reversed and you had left. Are you serious? I can't, I can't yeah. even remember. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. You know, mm. and ever since then, I've just been hoping to run into you again. Okay, so I have a confession to make. Oh, you do? Yes. Um, I had seen you before. Where? In Lekki, between Lekki Phase 1 and Lekki Phase 2. In traffic, I think someone had brushed your car or something like that. I remember, <laughs> I remember some dark fat guy. Yes. Ah. He caused a hell of a traffic and I was like, wait a minute, this guy is cute. His wife must really, really be lucky. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> He's cute. Ah, my head! <laughs> and his wife is really lucky. Just so you know, I'm single and searching. Oh, wow. Mm. And just maybe my wife is standing right in front of me right now. We're at a wedding, you know that. I know. And I'm really excited to be standing here as the best man. You know, try to get the attention of the most beautiful mm. maid of honor <laughs> at the wedding. Stop, please. <laughs> what? Oh. what they, they, they want my attention. I need to get that. But I'm, I'm not letting you go this time. You're coming with me. <laughs> You're coming. You know, did I tell you I went back to that mall? You did? Yeah, hoping to spot you again, thinking it's your favorite mall, and then I run into you. But no luck, you know? No luck. Wasn't lucky that time.
that's the only thing that attracts them. Right. Repels them later. Really? As a matter of fact, you doing it for some other person. <laughs> like, okay, fine guy now, all right? right? You're smiling, you're talking, you're smiling. A lady out there sees you, oh my God, oh my gosh, I love this guy. Now you go for her, you marry her. She sees you doing the same thing out there to some other people. It's a problem. The same reason, the same factor that made her fall in love with you. Oh, well. Yeah, that, that, that's the next thing. You think that's the case for every woman? Oh, well, I'm talking, I'm talking from experience, man. So I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why I've started to stay where, where I am. So I can express myself anytime, anywhere. You know, I don't want to know who is jealous or who is not jealous. I can't live with all that. No, no, no. I'm also very jealous, too. So I keep to myself. Okay, Bob. I, 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 I think um, women are different because I, for one, I think I have met someone really different. I, 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 I met this lady. Her name is Amaka. Tell me. And she looks beautiful. Uh -huh. Listen, let me tell you something. She is hardworking. She is intelligent. She is committed. She is a lawyer, so she's not a liability. Wow. And above all, she is mature. My kind of woman. All this for one person. I was just waiting to break the news to you. All this in one person. All of this in one person. I'm well, telling you. To think that I never knew that I that such people still exist. I mean, you know, we were constantly dining with frogs every day. But you see this girl, she's she's special. That's cruel, man. That's cruel. <laughs> <laughs> well well, I didn't know all this excitement was about a woman. What no, no, no. This one is not a woman. My woman, Amaka is my woman and we're getting married i already proposed that she said yes really yeah no time i mean this, this is serious no time <laughs> just you i'm getting married congratulations you can go <laughs> you can go i got no problem with that no you should not you I, should be happy for me as a matter of fact but i am happy for no you're not going to discourage me are you why would I do that? Uh, no, you shouldn't because I'm, I'm leaving you. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving your club. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get me alive. And you know, to think that I almost didn't go for, the, for that wedding. Nearly. Nearly. I was there when the call came. Exactly. And you were like, no, 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 no. no. You don't want to be the 27th uh, whatever. <laughs> You've been best man all your life. I'm telling you, but you see, wow. there's, there's just something about, about how God, God works in mysterious ways. I call God the master planner. The ogre of all arrangers and arrangees. She was also the bridesmaid at the wedding while I was the best man. So we're standing side by side, the couple, and we were looking at each other. And the chemistry. You were like the real couple. The chemistry was instant. And since then, Amaka and I, it's just been beautiful. Congratulations. Take it, take it, take it, take it. For Amaka, for Amaka. Cheers, cheers for Amaka. Cheers for Amaka. Thank you. Beautiful. Committed. What did you say again? Intelligent. Intelligent, yeah. Hard working. Oh, yeah. She's a lawyer, so okay. she's not a liability. Not a liability, okay. Above all, she's mature. Wow. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, the problem we, we have as a people is there's your kind out there. No matter how you are structured, there is your kind. It's just that we refuse to be patient enough to meet a kind. Oh, yeah. There is, yeah, I'm positive that you must have met your kind. But you know you now, you're very adamant. You're not thinking of marriage, so you let them go. I, I found my kind, and I'm going to be here. Yes, I have met my kinds, and they have children for me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can I stop being your friend? How could you, man? How could you? <laughs> I've met my kinds, and they have children for yeah, me. You've met your kinds, and you just got kids out of them. Bagam. That's enough for me. Yeah. No stress. Are you serious? <laughs> I was shocked. As in, no argument, no quarrel, just love at first sight. My oh. mom just loved him instantly. Hmm. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I mean, he's cute and both of you seem to be a match made in heaven. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Have you met his mother? Hmm. My darling. I met his mother on our way back from the village. So beautiful, soft-spoken, as in hardly argues, very nice, unlike my mom. Oh, <laughs> your mother should have been a lawyer. Do you know that's what they call her in the village? They call her lawyer. <laughs> Firebrand. Hey. Mm. Well, you know, mm. I really do love her. A lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
She's strong mm. and intelligent. Unlike my mother. Mm. She wasn't there for us. She abandoned us when we were little. She took off with another man. My father remarried. <laughs> to cut the long story short, we really suffered. Okay. Hmm? That's all in the past now. And you have overcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, 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 Charles. Eh? I, I, seriously, I share your excitement. No, you should. You're my friend. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really infectious. I've never seen you in this kind of mood before. Yeah, but I still have to ask some basic questions. Go ahead. Fine. This very Amaka, have you checked her out? You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I have. All right. She's clean. I mean, the, 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 the few days we'll have spent together. You know? And, um... I searched deeply. Do you know I, I went as far as bugging her phone? Trust you. Yeah, and I tell you she is very, very clean. Wow. Yeah, like I said before, this girl is mature, committed, and intelligent. You know, she's just exactly what I've been looking for all my life. So, my second question. Yeah. If she is so wonderful, dedicated, mature, beautiful, that, 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 why is she not married yet? You told me she's in her mid-thirties. Bob, can you try not to be pessimistic, please? Come on, Charles. This is not about pessimism. This is about reality. Marriage is for better or for worse. They say it's for life, eh? Uh, Bob, if someone walks in here and asks the same question about me, what would you say? You? Yes, me. I mean, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm one of the sweetest persons you would ever meet. I'm, I'm just... I'm just nice. But look at me, I'm still single. So these things happen. Life happens. You're not going to judge a maker that way. Come on. Wow. Nice, sweetest guy. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody sets exams for himself and fails. Meaning what, Bob? It's easy for you to say, you are this, you are that, you are that. Now, what if I say something different? What if I say that you're a very stubborn guy? <laughs> you're a control freak. And above all, you are Oko Ashawo. You know what you are, Bob? You're just an irresponsible. That's what you are. You're not going to spoil my happiness. I mean that, though. <laughs> okay, you ask a question, I answer, and now I become a uh, chairman of Wishes and Wizards, huh? <laughs> no, no, but, but seriously, seriously, I'm happy for you. Anyway, congratulations once again. About I don't that. need your... Congratulations once again, it's not easy, okay? Mm. Have you told our pastor yet? Uh, no, I haven't too. I haven't. Everything has been happening so fast, but I will see him very soon. Mm. We should. I know. You have to seek the face of God first. I know. And I pray there are no obstacles in the way. Amen. As for me, I'm still believing God in my own prophecy concerning my Obodo evil husband. Hmm. It will come to pass. It will happen. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just have faith. Faith like that of a mustard seed. It will happen. Amen. And when it happens, you travel to Obudoyibo to have your first child. You will send me a ticket. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. And I'll come and do a move for you. <laughs> I came I came in. So shall it be in Jesus' Amen. name. Nothing oh. will stop it from happening. I can't oh? wait. Just have faith. I wonder what you would look like. Uh, look at you now. Yellow <laughs> pom pom. And born in America. <laughs> hey! Mwa mwa kata kwa mwa. I hold this. Wow. It's been a nice time. Man. Thank you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Mm. Wow. Yeah, lest I forget though. Yeah. Um. Just so you know though, um, we're looking at having the introduction next week. Wow. So fast. 
Yeah, so fast. I mean, what are we waiting for? <laughs> uh, the earlier, the better. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be small, though. Very small. I told you, she's, she's different. Wow. Yeah, but we're making it um, really small. Um, she insists that um, she doesn't want anything loud. I'm also thinking that I agree with her. So, But the wedding is going to be quite elaborate. But this one would be small. We just get it done. Do the traditional rites and then... Okay, okay. Yes. That's all right. I'm happy for you. You should be. You're my friend. Yeah, man. <laughs> but that's for the white. Uh, Rob, you'll be my best friend now. Excuse me? What? Best man? Me? Well, you, well, you're not married. You can't also support me as best friend. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Anything, marriage, wedding, nah, 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 that's for me. I'm just fine the way I am. I'm going to be there. I will support you, but come stand there as best man on nah, 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 that's for me. Come on, oh. I will recommend somebody for you. Don't worry. <laughs> please, please, no, I, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Not getting married at least be someone. <laughs> Hectic as usual, but I am fine. Sorry, sorry. Mm. I understand. Okay, not to worry. Once we are settled and all, mm -hmm. we'll probably get you a better job. One that pays more, but affords you time to, you know, relax a bit. You know what? What? That will be extremely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Thank you. You're so welcome. how was your day? Um, my day was okay. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do much because I had called up the parish um, Reverend Father that I'll be coming over to see him so that we can talk. So I went there um, to discuss our wedding plans with him. Reverend Father, why Reverend Father? Why not Reverend Father? Sweetheart, you know that we're wedding in my church, not yours, right? And I've spoken to my pastor about it and he said he will wed us when we're ready. Says who? But you told me you had to go to church. So for that reason, I should abandon my church and have this wedding in your church. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. I... I don't see why you're surprised, babe. I'm the man here. The wedding is going to happen in my church. Not you, you're the woman, sweetheart. I'm getting married to you. Okay, so it's not... It's now a thing of the man and the woman, not... Uh, not now. You're tired. It's been a long day. We'll talk about this when you're arrested. Well, you... you know. hmm? When you're arrested. Let's go. Come on, we'll talk about it later. Come on now. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, that's it. I don't know how you eat watermelon with all these seeds. I have to make sure all the seeds are out. But I don't know. If nature wanted the seeds out, it shouldn't have come with the seeds. So when you eat oranges or when you... Did you eat or drink oranges? <laughs> where, where, you, where you suck oranges? <laughs> when you suck oranges, do you suck them with the seeds? <laughs> okay, so let me try without the seeds now. Ah, gosh. I don't know how people do this. Uh, well, watermelon is nice, though. Mm, I know. Yes. Fresh. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Sweetheart. Yes. You know about this wedding? Mm -hmm. I was who just said it out. Okay. And I want you to have an open mind. Right? Mm -hmm. You know that my parents are Catholics. You know that my father is a knight. Of the church. Okay. Think about it. How would they feel? Imagine the embarrassment 
they will have to deal with. If it is said that their son was dragged by a woman he is supposed to be marrying to some Yahoo Yahoo Pentecostal church for a wedding. Charles, please, do not address my church in that manner. My pastor is an exceptionally gifted and anointed man of God. Sweetheart, be careful. Oh yes, be wary of all these pretenders on the throne. Be careful. You see all these Yahoo Yahoo Pentecostal churches littered all over the place. How many of them are, are, are real men of God? Listen, I told myself from when I was pretty young that I would never attend a church that is set up by one man and his wife. Charles, please, can you just stop? This is not just about, you know, a building or a church or anything. It's about where the presence of God and the Holy Spirit reigns. In my church? No, In calm my down, church. calm down. Did you see all these Orthodox churches? They're just about routine and doing this at a certain time and doing this a certain way. They lack anointing, they lack passion, they lack the fire and the Holy Ghost. They lack, see. They lack what? They lack abracadabra. They lack entertainment. That is what it is. You see that anointing? That is entertainment. That is what it is. Entertain, they just entertain you people, and that's why they are all over the place on social media. You know what? Can we just change no, the topic? No, we can't change the topic, all right? Time is drawing there. We need to sort this wedding issue out so that we can have this wedding in peace. Then why don't you show my pastor some, some sort of respect? How have I disrespected him? Because you're calling him names. Can you stop the name calling? Well, I didn't say your pastor. The Bible is, says. That what? Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Can we just end this topic now? You can have the whole bowl if you choose. There's still more in the kitchen. What? But you're perfect. I know how. What are you talking about? I will show you my shot. Catholic. I was born Catholic, you know that, right? So? Do you even go to church? You don't go to church. You don't do anything. You just go there occasionally just to mark register. If I wasn't a child of God, you wouldn't even want to get married to me. We're having the wedding in my church. And I'll have you know that I have zero tolerance for women who despise their husbands but worship their pastors. Charles, how can, you, how can you be saying all of this? Because I know how those things work. These women go ahead to start sleeping with their pastors. I have pastor friends. I know what happens in the church. Especially these Yahoo Yahoo churches. I know what happens there. Alright? Well, maybe other churches but not my church. Certainly not my pastor. You never can tell. Oh yes, I can tell you for free that pastors sleep with their church members, whether married or unmarried. I'm asking you again, are you sleeping with this man? Charles, are you okay? Why would you ask me that kind of question? What do you mean by that? You better not be lying to me. Really? 